Praise the Lord. What a joy to have you listen to the living, active, sharp, piercing, and discerning word of God from my mouth. This is Sweet Melodies, a Bible reading program aired on Grace Life Kumi Podcast. I am Funke Oahuna. I will be reading from the pages of the scriptures. I pray that as you listen to the word of God, gains entrance into you and you join your faith with the word of God for your spiritual edification and all around profiting in Jesus precious name Amen Psalms 10, this Bible reading is taken from the Passion Translation. Verse 1, Lord, you seem so far away when evil is near. Why do you stand so far off as though you don't care? Why have you hidden yourself when I need you the most? Verse 2. The arrogant in their elitist pride persecute the poor and helpless. May you pour out upon them the very evil they've planned against others. Verse 3. How they brag and boast of their cravings, exalting the greedy. They congratulate themselves as they despise you. Verse 4. These arrogant ones, so smug and secure, in their delusion, the wicked both saying, God doesn't care about what we do. There's nothing to worry about. Our wealth will last a lifetime. Verse 5. So seemingly successful are they in their schemes, prosperous in all their plans and scoffing at any restraints. Verse 6, they boast that neither God nor men will bring them down. They snare at all their enemies, saying in their hearts, we'll have success in all we do and never have to face trouble, never realizing that they are speaking this in vain. Verse 7, their mouth spouts out cursing, lies and threats. Only trouble and turmoil come from all their plans. Verse 8 to 9. Like beasts, locking in the shadows of the city, they crouch silently in ambush for the people to pass by. Pouncing on the poor, they catch them in their snare to murder the prey in secret as they plunder their helpless victims. Verse 10, they crush the lowly as they fall beneath their brutal blows, watching their victims collapse in defeat. Verse 11, then they say to themselves, the lofty one is not watching while we do this. He doesn't even care. We can get away with it. In verse 12, now is the time to arise, Lord. Crush them once and for all. Don't forget the forgotten and the helpless. And verse 13. How dare the wicked think they'll escape judgment, believing that you would not call them to account for all their ways. Don't let the wicked get away with their contempt of you. Verse 14. Lord, I know you see all that they are doing, noting their each and every deed. You know the trouble and turmoil they've caused. Now punish them thoroughly for all that they've done. The poor and helpless ones trust in you, Lord, for you are famous for being the helper of the fatherless. I know you won't let them down. Verse 15. 
break the power of the wicked and all their strong arm tactics. Search them out and destroy them for the evil things they've done. Verse 16. You, Lord, are king forever and ever. You will see to it that all the nations perish from your land. Verse 17. Lord, you know and understand all the hopes of the humble and will hear their cries and comfort their hearts, helping them all. Verse 18. The orphans and the oppressed will be terrified no longer, for you will bring them justice and no one will trouble them. Praise God. We are going to be praying with verse 15 of this same scripture of Psalms chapter 10, which says, Break the power of the wicked and all their strong arm tactics. Search them out and destroy them for the evil things they've done. It is time to pray. We are going to lift up our voices and say, O oh Lord, for the oppressed, for the poor, Father, in the name of Jesus, we ask it that you break the power of the wicked in all their strong arm tactics. Every arm of the wicked that has continued to exert wickedness on the poor and the helpless around us, in our nation, in the nations of the earth, O oh Lord, break their power in the name of Jesus and their strong arm tactics. Be broken in the name of Jesus. Search them out, O oh Lord. Search them out and destroy them for the evil things they've done, for the evil things they've been practicing, for the evil things they have been doing in our nations. Father, in the name of Jesus, we ask that you search them out and destroy them. Wherever they are seated, wherever they are operating from, wherever they are, they, 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 are, they, are, they, are, they are taking, they are, they, are, they are sitting on systems. Lord, we ask, oh Lord, that you search them out, search them out, search them out in the name of Jesus and destroy them all. Destroy the wicked, destroy the wicked, oh Lord, destroy the wicked, oh Lord, destroy the wicked. Every one of them who says God does not care about what they are doing. Every one of them that says there's nothing to worry about, we can continue in our wickedness. We can keep oppressing the poor and the needy. Father, in the name of Jesus, we ask, O oh Lord, that you search them out in the name of Jesus and destroy them for the evil things they have done. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' precious name, I've prayed. Amen. Beloved, I believe you have received God's word in faith. May we not be here as alone, but do us of his word. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with your spirit today and always. Amen. Jesus is Lord.